Was it ever? Okay, so you need three people inside. Um, a I'm person's. I'm pissed. I'm you bring a me, I, I forgot the thinner. I had it on me, but just I go to off. Harmony real quick. Yeah, that's what they're doing. You're super cool. Um, okay, so three people inside, and then three people can stay outside. So you have one person start here. Mm -hmm. Can you mark one it? Person... Can you mark it for me, please, so I can uh, yeah. see? Do you, do you want me to put it just the step order? Yeah, yeah, so like you could, you, a, you we could consider go... this one three. Yeah, you just yeah. No, this do... one's four. I'm sorry, it's been a minute since I've labeled. Sorry. Do it, do it how you do it, because I'm gonna memorize. Okay, if it first time that we've ever had someone come, this is how we do it. Okay, so this is four. And this is five. In this step, you need to teach whoever's here. You can accidentally pick up ingredients instead of adjusting the settings. So you have to make sure whoever you're explaining it to is very careful here not to pick up ingredients and then miss this step. Okay. And this one's sick. And then this one's seven. This is one. K was making up shit. Like, I know, I knew he was. Cause I know, you know, and then but... this is two. And then three. So um, the main thing you want is always have people on coffee. If you have someone on coffee, then it helps be able to, if someone skips a step, you can recover and save the cook. You just have to bring another person inside. And the person who comes inside has to go in front of the person by one step, who skipped a step. So whatever step they skipped, they would be at the next step, they would go into the step in front of it. Because essentially the person who skipped a step, they're no longer cooking. None of the stuff they're doing- They would have to go back buff, to their step. They can't. Once you skip a step and you go to another step, you actually are, the boss no longer appreciates you in the laboratory and they do not want you to cook anymore. So that's why you bring another person inside the person who comes inside is going to essentially take over for the person who skipped a step. But because you're on coffee, the person who's behind the person who skipped a step is going to catch up to where they skipped a step. You just need to replace the person who skipped okay. a step. That's so for example, right? If mm -hmm. I'm at two and I go yep. to four and I skip three, Correct. I'm no longer mm -hmm. cooking. So do I tell Correct. the person to go to three? Right they're away. Gonna come in and they're going to go to five. Oh, they're going to go, go to five. Front. Okay. Yes, they're going to go in front of you because the person who's behind you, which if you were supposed to be at two and you skipped three, and so you're at four, right? So you were, you're here and you're supposed to be here. When you are here, the person who is behind you is going to be yes. here. They can do finish this step, grab the ingredients, get step two and step three, before the timer runs out. That's only if you're on coffee. If you're not on coffee, you cannot save the cook. It doesn't matter what somebody's gonna come in. You're more than likely going to fail. So, so always, always coffee. I don't have coffee yes. shit. I have some extra for you. It's a, so you'll okay. learn to carry a ton. If someone's if someone fucks up, then always go uh -huh. to the one in front. Whatever. In front started. of where they yes, in front of where they stepped. Because essentially they're making up for like them not continuing. Um when you start, you're gonna have a person start on six, uh, four, and one. So the person who starts the cook is gonna start the laptop, then go straight to one over here. So grab ingredients and then they continue on. You're essentially gonna. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Start on six, four, and one. It's my secret. Well, yeah, one, four, and six. If it's easier to remember. Yeah, six, four, and one. Yeah, but the person on the laptop will go to six one. or one. Okay. One, then two, then three. Yeah, so if you're cooking, you start from the beginning, essentially. Okay. Yeah. But like, I'm more That's why it's uh, one. Sure. Okay. All right. So let me see. Where's two? Where's two? Okay, two, two is, is going to be the pour. Okay. Mm -hmm. yep, you're grabbing ingredients. You pour in the bowl, in the hole, and then you go three. Most common step that's skipped is step three. Most people go from two to four for whatever reason. I've done it so many times. Mm -hmm. It just happened. Um, so, okay. Okay. So from the laptop, you go pick up ingredients, you pour in the ingredients, then boom, 
mess with this, the mixer. You come yep. here, boom, boom, and now you're you're in rotation pretty much. You're rocking you. around. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Very simple. Okay, let me give you a coffee. And then pay maintenance fees. Got it. Pay maintenance fees. We pay, when we do it, we pay two weeks in advance. And I pay fees for all of my things every Friday, every week, every two weeks on Friday. It's just kind of like paying a paycheck, right? You get paid every Friday. I just always remember to pay everything every two weeks on Friday. It's just easier for me personally. Okay. Even if it, and what I do is I make sure that if I, like, for example, the lab, I'll pay on Friday, but it's technically probably not due to like <laughs> Monday. So it gives a few days if for whatever oh. reason I forget or whatever happens or I can't pay it or whatever the case may be. It. But it was just easier for me to remember every two weeks on Friday to pay all my fees for all my stuff. All right. All right, I got it. Um, so we, I'll start at six then, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah start. sounds good. I drank coffee too, so. So just keep All going, right. no matter what. As soon as you're done, move, move, move. Got you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The main thing that's hard to remember, um, if somebody like, let's say somebody um, gets really sleepy really quick and they go to take a nap, right? Like, mm -hmm. I'm gonna start happened. okay. Yeah, you can start. All right, you're good to start. Um, what will happen is the um, lab will automatically stop the cook. You can have that person come back. They go back to the step they were on, and you rest you as the main cook restart the cook on the laptop. You can restart it. You go back to the laptop, and you just it will give you the option to re um, process. And then the you just go you back to the same spots you yes, were before. Back to where you were. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. So if you ended at five, three, and seven, you just go back to there after back you start. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, one of the main things to be able to tell <laughs> is when you're at a location, the way you can tell if you have someone skip a step is someone is always going to be like, there's going to be one step between you and the other person. So for example, I'm going to five, you're at seven. So there's a step between you and I, Flippy's going to three. So the step four is open between us. That's the best way to keep kind of an idea that there's two steps between mm. each person, especially step one and two are pretty much the same step in a way because you're grabbing the ingredients and pouring in the bowl is the same time as every other step. Like those two steps combined is the same time as like the step you're on, for example, seven. Perfect, perfect. So that's the only time that there will be, quote unquote, more than one space between and, you and another. And person. another question. Can people hear us in here or no? Um, I am going to say, OK, I'm just going to say no. Mm -hmm. They should not hear you because you're underground and you go through a tunnel to um, an underground like i got lab, you right yeah, so yeah. that's just i would say no okay and then to um, be fair after all my times of cooking in labs i've also never heard anyone else around us either so that's true and we've done it for every single lab location so and we shout every single time and then yesterday flippy gave me a gem where he said start what was it 76 51 51 26 something like that and then well, first you start with 51 51 51 and yeah. then you work on every slider one by one you go up and down okay so the main thing is um so with flippy lily and ash all three of them um the main thing with doing labs is that the highest you can do at first is 90. so you have four sliders the highest you could do is 90 percent you do not know what your percentile is until you surpass 75%. So the guy, when he gives you the bags at the end, when you scoop the stuff out of the bowl, mm -hmm. he puts a label on the baggie that says whether the cook is a good cook, an average cook, or a bad cook. That is the most important thing of all of it, is keeping track of all of those. Otherwise, you won't be able to know if you are doing any better than 75 um, Okay issue is is that um as of recently like i said with flippy lily and ash the guy who puts the label on the baggie is not putting a label on the baggie properly so there's been a lot of issues and you might not actually be able to, to make money know if you're doing better or not 
even oh if you God, are, if that makes sense. So well, that's what if something I, what that... if, if I open them, I won't know. So. You won't know. You know what? It, the odds of you being able to get above 75% while opening them because you're automatically going to be getting 75 Like, let's say you do 51 across, right? You do four sliders, 51, 51, 51, 51. Mm -hmm. um, your percentile of meth for four sliders across for 51 across is equivalent to, let's say, 10%. Your meth strain is 10%. Mm -hmm. You make your slider go to 26, 51, 51, 51. Technically, your percentile, let's say that first slider going to 26 is better, so your meth strain goes to 13. There's no way for you to know that because when you open the bag, it's 75 regardless. Oh, so you will not know gotcha. that it is better because it doesn't really actually... Well, to black was a little confused, way. guys, but now I got it. So you kind of run into an issue So where... you just got to kind of keep doing it until you break 75 then. Then you kind of know. Yes, and in, in doing that, there are probably... You would have 10,000 probably different formulas that you could put in to give you something that you may chance that someday you guess and it gets above 75%. So the real thing is, though, mm -hmm. you're, in a, you're in a tough spot because you're taking this bit serious, right? Like, you want to, like work your shit, build that shit up and shit. Mm -hmm. But then you also have people like Kay and Rami and Vinny <laughs> and they're going to be lazy. They're not going to care as much. And it's going to be hard for them to actually do the right things they need to do, to be honest. With you. For example, the one thing, the most important thing you're going to do is you're going to need to, you're, you're gonna need to uh, get a spreadsheet and you're going to save logs of every single cook you ever do in here. Yeah, yeah. And, and you need to make sure you... It tells you, like, you need to write down what it tells you every single time. Yeah, that, I, I have that. That's, that. That's what I did on my yeah. tables. I have a big spreadsheet and, like... Have you done a, t a lab cook yet? Uh, no, no, no. Well, yeah, we did one yesterday and we blew up. Okay, well, that's okay. Because if you, you have to have successful. If When you get a successful cook, if it's after you do, like, two or three and it does not... The label on the baggie does not say... How do I explain this? You know how when you do table, it tells you if it's good or bad? Like you yeah, yeah. should have had that. Yeah, it'll be exactly the same. Mm -hmm. If you do like three or four lab cooks and you don't get a quote unquote better label, then you're and then having the same problem that all three of them have, which you kind of have to kind of speak to um, the big boss to be able to kind of get a fix for that. Yeah. It's really the real truth of, of the matter it's the, it's definitely like a formula to the codes but like i f i feel like after like you can see a pattern but like you said if it's always gonna say your flat line is 75 it's gonna be hard to see that pattern yes you can't correct yeah. if you if it's like with the tables it was very easy like um i mean to be honest if you find someone who's like fucking nerd and i mean this in a good way like mm -hmm. Who knows math really, really, oh, really, really fucking good? You probably work for you. figure out your shit in like six or seven cooks. Is, no. There's some math to this. I don't really know how the fuck to do the math. Well, you can't. Uh, you can't. There's no. It's impossible to figure it out without with, with a, knowing your percent. You, you need to know some numbers, right? No, but if it was, she's basically saying if it was like from uh, zero to a hundred, then it would be you could see it. But uh, yeah, yeah. because it flatlines at 75, you don't I know if you you're to, processing. Once you get 91, it's Correct. easy if you get the number. But... Well, I think once then, you get off with 76, you'll be good. Yeah, 76 yeah. is easy for the first part. Oh, I'm talking about me. 70, yeah, yeah. And then 90 is after, 91. After. Oh, oh, so when you get to the nov another level, it flatlines at 90? Um, yeah. So oh, the max that's even the fucking same. harder. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so, so right now I'm level three. I'm almost level four. And once I hit level four... I'll, I would have to have level 90 by then. But once I get level 4, I'm going to have to... I'm gonna, I get a new tab. It's going to be 5. And I'm going to have to figure out my formula again. I'm level 4 now, guys. I hit level 4 yesterday. Or the day before. Yeah. I just looked at my So, system. you are in a way behind because you have to figure out your level 90 first. And once you get level right. 90, you're going to have to come up with a whole new formula. Yeah, it starts again all over. Yeah. I, I feel like if I could cook at least, I'm saying if I could cook at least four times a day, which like what's Flippy's kind of saying, it might be a little hard. But if I could, I, I, I think I could figure out in a couple of weeks. 
or maybe less to be honest with you i just need a mo i need a i need a momentum man it's I mean, easy the, to the do boys it boys are actually done a cook like bro all you need to do is two cooks a day and that's good enough to be honest with you yeah okay that's to get your formula but to get level five you're just gonna do that off just cooking on tables the, the genuine thing is it's very easy at least so you can get very close and then you get you can really figure it out it's, there's a, there is a pattern to it it's just getting when the labels don't show up on the bags you really get stuck in like not being able to progress pretty much at all yeah or um like for example let's say they didn't put labels on the bags at all and you just got a percentile with every bag you open that would be easy too like it's the same thing essentially um but it's just it's in an unfortunate position but you really can get it i think i did my 100 percent in like 40 cooks or something 30 cooks yeah, that's the goal. Roll to 100. I get this shit, also though. also was different for me. Um, yeah, because uh, I had the labels. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. the system kind of changed. Yeah, it changed when, actually, what I'm thinking, it changed when tables st started giving the label of whether it was a good cook or a bad cook. Mm. Because I did it before those labels. Good. I can the... stop then, or yeah, yeah you're good. Stop. Stop. Yeah, it's ten minutes in total. You'll be here for ten minutes, no matter what. And once your ten minutes are up, your the boss scoops it in into the bag, and then you're good to go. All right, thank you, guys. I I took in all that information. I I'm, I think I'm good to go. Honestly, the number one thing I would do is just take pictures of the, the numbers, and then you'll be good. Yeah, yeah, I just did, and then um, I've got the. Uh, it's just how the fuck am I gonna explain this to Rami and Kay? <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> tell them to get on a sp on a button and read the manual at the button spots. <laughs> That's really what they have to do.